it's best to say, hey, we will co-parent and govern this child, this child accordingly. You, but bitter women often do that. You're taking my greatest asset that God gave me and turning it into my adversary. Right. I'm like, this is my general, and now I got a damn lieutenant on the other side operating against me. I'm looking at, like, hey, is this what you accomplished this? This is what your behavior and your rhetoric created. But they're the weaker vessel. Like, what I just said will go over so many women's head. They will not even understand what I just talked about when we talk about co-parenting and good parenting. Women will operate just like children from their emotions. That's how, why they dress like that. Everything that they do, they operate off based off of how they feel. And they come in with this attitude like they know what they're talking about. They try, they want to be in these positions of authority and leadership, but they, they aren't built like that at all. I'm, look, I keep on telling you, I'm a feminist. And so if your idea is better than my idea, I'm I'm, I'm listening to you. Tell me what we're going to do. Tell me how we're going to do it. Tell me when we're going to do it. And if it fails, hold accountability for it. But if you ain't willing to do that, then please assist me as I accomplish my goals because I'm on a mission, baby. Yeah, I mean, I think this podcast is so important because not only are we telling the truth about the world around us in politics, but when it comes to the male and female dynamic, you have two men uh, who are really talking about this in such a way that we're helping men and instructing women because women need instruction. Like if you if you're a woman and you tune into this channel, you're going to learn, you're going to gain from it. If you're a man, you're definitely going to grow. But we need to talk to our women in a manner to teach them and help them grow. You are the pupil. You are the insubordinate. You are not the leader. You are not the teacher. Uh, you need to be taught so you therefore can go forth and teach. And the issue with our society right now is we have women taking a whole of society and controlling it and leading it as though that's what God designed them to do. And with, that's just not the case. With no standards. No I've standards. seen so many black female politicians in authority. They ask them, what's a woman? And they say a person who identifies as a, as a woman. Um, that's unreasonable. And, and in Supreme Court hearings, they're saying the exact same rhetoric. And I'm like, how in the world is this possible? You're a whole woman who creates children and you'll let a man come and dominate your space. That's not that's illogical. Bonus hole. What do you think about that? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's a bonus hole. <laughs> so they, they so they, so so we won't offend people who were not born with the vagina. We're gonna call the vagina a bonus hole. A bonus hole. Like we playing Mario or something, nigga. Power. That's up. a coochie. Ding, 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 ding. That's a coochie, man. That's a coochie. That's a that's a that's a vagina. That's you know, hey, look, I said this already. The world is on fire and we cannot put out the flames. But we only get to this place when men choose to listen to women who say that my feelings matter. And so when a woman says my feelings matter, then you can have a man who says my feelings also matter. Right. And then he says my feelings are that I'm a woman. And she says, you know what? His feelings are valid. And you're like, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. If it's, man, in every male dominated space, that's not allowed. And we got to do this thing. And if you don't do this thing, you're going to get away from us because we're working over here. You were talking about, oh, I hurt my nail. If you don't use your muscles and your testosterone to accomplish this job, then then you have no purpose to the group. 